Hello, and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Um, today we're going to spend some time doing some calculations. I've seen a ton of videos recently about, you know, Bitcoin versus XRP pricing, what the ratio should be, and can, even trying to devolve it into drops versus Satoshi. And I've seen some really, really bad assumptions and calculations based on a complete misunderstanding of how this stuff works. Some, something about if drops were equal to Satoshi's in value, then a Bitcoin should be equal to an XRP. That's complete nonsense. Um, that's really not how the division and the numbers work. I've even heard um, stuff like there's about the same number of Satoshis as drops, which is also nonsense. That's not true at all. Um, so let's actually go back to the basics and go to the units of Satoshis and drops. One Bitcoin is 100 million Satoshis. One drop uh, one XRP is a million drops. However, there are about a hundred million, hundred billion XRP, sorry, and about 21 million uh, Bitcoin altogether. Yes, each transaction does burn 10 drops, but that's really insignificant. And there's still 99.99 billion XRP um, out there right now. So essentially, what I have is if you multiply a hundred billion by a million drops per XRP, you get 100 quadrillion drops in total. 100 quadrillion drops in total uh, in terms of XRP, which is one times e to the 17, one with 17 zeros behind it. If you multiply 100 uh, million, if you multiply 100 million times 21 million, you get about 2.1 times e to the 15 for Satoshis. So you have about 2.1 quadrillion uh, Satoshis in total, which means that in, even in terms of drops versus Satoshis, there's about 47 times as many drops or 48, 47 to 48 times as many drops as Satoshis. So even if you take it down to the basic unit, Bitcoin is Bitcoin Satoshis are still almost 50%, now 50 times as rare as drops from XRP. So even at that point, one, one Satoshi should be worth a lot more than one drop. Now, a lot of so we solve we've solved that part of it. The thing is, there's just as many satoshis as drops. Totally false. They're, yes, they're both incredibly high numbers, but numerically, there's nearly 50 times as many drops as satoshis. Now, there is another misconception: is that a satoshi, if a satoshi and a drop is the same value, if a satoshi and a drop is the same value, then a bitcoin and an XRP should be the same value. That is absolutely false as well because there's only 1 million uh, drops in a in an XRP and 100 million satoshis in a bitcoin it's very easy if you just multiply it if a drop and a satoshi are the same value then bitcoin should be a hundred times uh, more valuable than an XRP because there's a hundred times as many satoshis as drops now given that the now given that there's still uh, 50 times almost 50 times as much um, drops as Satoshis, one Satoshi should technically be worth about 50 drops, uh, all other things held constant. So based on the calculation, you just basically have 50 multiplied by 100 and you get around, you know, five, if for the same market cap, you have basically around 5,000 uh, XRP is going to be roughly one Bitcoin. That's the trade-off if there was a one-to-one -one ratio um, of market cap. Obviously there's not. So Based on that, we have a tr we can have a true projection of what a, like what 50k um, so 50k Bitcoin value would equal to an XRP value, All right? So a 50k Bitcoin value, because each Bitcoin's nearly 5,000 should be around 5,000 times as valuable as an XRP. It's slightly less um, because it's slightly less. A 50k Bitcoin, if you actually do the mathematical calculations, should be about $12 XRP uh, if you actually maintain, if, if uh, XRP caught up with Bitcoin in terms of market cap. A 50K Bitcoin is about a $12 XRP. And that is counting all the XRPs in circulation. That's going by Forbes method, not coin market caps method. Um, if you only count the number in circulation, the price would have to be much higher than 12 XRP. Uh, but I guess like, but um, if you count all, everything in circulation, it should be about a $12 XRP. I'm also counting all the Bitcoin in circulation, by the way, it's all 21 million, and I'm counting all um, all 99 billion XRP. If you only had the 40 or so uh, million uh, billion XRP in circulation, and you only have, if you basically if you go by coin market caps method, 
um, instead of Forbes method, you wouldn't have $12 per XRP to equal the 50K BTC. You would have to have much more along the lines of like $20 XRP to equal the 50K BTC. So for you XRP fans, honestly, like these kind of calculations, you you actually want to favor coin market caps a method instead of Forbes method because it's it's very understandable. It's, it's actually really easy to understand. The smaller circulating supply you're calculating with, the larger the larger the price each XRP has to be to be the equivalent of Bitcoin. It's, it's very easy. So even last time when Bitcoin was at around 20K uh, and XRP was around 384, it's still, even if you use the Forbes method, it did not overtake Bitcoin in terms of um, market cap ratio. Now, I don't exactly know. Maybe when Bitcoin was at 13K and XRP was at like 384, if you took the highest price, it might have surpassed it for a little while. But um, realistically, you at 50K Bitcoin, you need about 12 uh, XRP. At about 20K Bitcoin, you would need about 40% of that, or you would need about 480 XRP to actually overtake Bitcoin. And we didn't actually reach. So Bitcoin at its height was still greater than XRP at its height during the last bull run. Um, obviously, Bitcoin has started coming down a little when XRP reached the site. So there might have been a swap if you use Forbes method. But realistically, if you're comparing ratios, you want to use CoinMarketCap's method because that results in a higher per XRP price. Now, what about... Um, what about if XRP just maintains the ratio right now, maintains the Satoshi value right now, and Bitcoin gets to 50K? Well, you can see Bitcoin's at 9,163. So you can just kind of divide, right? 50,000 divided by 9,163. You have about, you know, 5.45, and then you have 43 cents for XRP. And you get a, and uh, if you actually go by the ratio right now, um, if you actually go by the ratio right now, then XRP would really only have to be about $2.34 when Bitcoin gets to 50K. If XRP rose directly with Bitcoin right now, you would have about 234 at 50K. I actually think it'll be closer to the 12 figure uh, when Bitcoin gets to 50K. Um, I think it'll probably be around like $8, $10 when Bitcoin gets to 50K and not 234. I do expect XRP to gain much faster than Bitcoin, past a certain bit of bit, uh, past a certain point of Bitcoin. Maybe it'll be ten thousand. Maybe it'll be after we reach last time's all-time high that Bitcoin will start to gain. Uh, XRP will start to gain on Bitcoin faster. But no, fifty k Bitcoin does not equal a thousand dollar XRP. It's actually about a twelve dollar XRP if XRP equals Bitcoin in market cap. And if you just go by the ratio right now, it'd be like two dollars and thirty four cents. So. I actually think it'll be closer to $12. It's probably going to be $8 to $10 if Bitcoin gets to 50K, but that's only if Bitcoin gets to 50K. I actually, even if Bitcoin gets to 50K, I don't think anything will flip in Bitcoin at this point. I would think it will be pretty close. It might be pretty close to Bitcoin's market cap, but it won't flip in it altogether. Um, so that's the calculation for XRP. There are roughly, if you count drops of Satoshis, there are roughly almost 50 times as many drops of Satoshis. And remember, there's 100 times more Satoshi in one Bitcoin than there is drops in XRP. So even if Satoshis and drops were the same price, Bitcoin would still be a lot more expensive. And that's, um, and that's how it actually works out now. And right now, the ratio, is actually, the ratio is much lower than I think it should be. But at the same time, even if the ratios were equal, you'd still have, you know, each Bitcoin would still be about 5,000 times the price of an XRP. So that's how the calculations actually work. If you actually take out the calculator, calculate the total number of drops and Satoshis, and don't make any like idiotic assumptions of everything is the same price because it's really not. So that is the video today. Um, and uh, yeah, please check out my Patreon and my DLive and all my other social media in the description. Thank you and have a nice day.